Growing contentment. Imagine loving garden work so much that you not only do your own hobby farm, but your neighbor's garden and even the local school's garden work too. Well, you this just Scott. imagine Scott. And today I'm going to show you how to grow a salad mix in a container. Hey, while I'm cleaning out the barrel, I'm going to explain to you kind of the dynamics. Here's Mr. Lincoln. He's coming to visit. Uh, he's saying hello. A lot of the videos on growing contentment are action shots that are masterfully voiced over. The only tool I need is this dibble to plant the corn. The first step of this bed that I prepared oh, a few weeks ago is just to rake it out level. Uh, it helps the seeds germinate and it helps them form nodules on their roots. There are a lot of cool container gardening ideas being used here. I still have my uh, big grow beds at the school that I did not use this year, so I've got to reclaim those and use them next year. But anyway, she did a good job. So here's what we're going to do today is we're going to plant into the earth boxes. I'm glad the wife's filming. That helps a lot. Appreciate it. You know, stuck underneath the plastic, and you know, that sometimes that kills the plant. So, so got to make sure that the plastic doesn't do that, and the simplest way to do that is to go get some rocks from the garden. Scott uploads pretty much everything related to his hobby farm, including repair and construction projects and, and again, even the chickens. And, you know, I like the chickens and the bees and, and uh, everything that, that, that you can grow in, a, in, a, in an urban garden. He's got a pretty nice chunk of his urban backyard turned into a great hobby farm, and he's more than willing to share it with you. Growing contentment, check it out. Mark the Spider Guy. If you have a fear of spiders... <laughs> this channel might make you more at ease or might make it worse <laughs> one of those two <laughs> it's not so bad and tops and just up here be just down there uh, a bit right there come on Mr. Exer there you go come on a bit more there you go. If you've never been to an invert show, it's not the kind, you know, which people who are quiet and a bit shy all gather around and <laughs> party. <laughs> an invert show is basically a creepy crawly convention. <laughs> kind of like a boat show where the boats are alive and... Okay, not like a boat show. <laughs> there aren't just spiders on Mark the Spider Guy. Our live chats with other exotic critter lovers up your alley? Uh, two acrylic XO replacements. So what you do is you, I, you use the actual lid off the XO and take the mesh out, take all the rubber out. Because why not? I know. Wait, <laughs> so it was is Grogu going to die this time? Well, the thing is, even if he's not into it, Walking around seas isn't exactly the easiest challenge in the world. Not everyone in the chats has snakes or exotic insects or arachnids, but quite a few do. If you are a tarantula fan or any other invert fan, or you just like seeing your next nightmares up close and personal, <laughs> Mark the Spider Guy, he's got you covered. Check him out. Sharon's Pops and Plants. What in the world are pops, right? Funko pops are kind of like caricatures you can hold with exaggerated faces and bobbleheads. They come in every character and genre imaginable. And guess who loves them? I got it because it's got the Undertaker in it. It's a GameStop exclusive, so you can see with their ugly freaking... And let's see... The only other one I got that's back here is so I got the chase to this Alexa Bliss. She makes a lot on his big butt. <laughs> I've wanted this pop. I just never picked it up. And it was on sale. Pack of these two. I had the two pack. Somewhere.
Yeah, it's way up there. Oh my god, he's so cute. He's so cute. Sharon's Pops and Plants dabbles in other collections, too. Got a whole box. Aaron Cavell. Oh, here's a cool insert. Cole Irvin. I don't know what these all the parallels and inserts and stuff are called. I did say Sharon's Pops and Plants, right? Plants? Well, she's got a garden also. And she shares a little bit of that with us on YouTube land, too. Do you collect figurines and carts and things? Maybe do a bit of gardening on the side? Sharon's Pops and Plants is waiting for you. Check her out. Getting the most out of the hobby farm. Experts on the inverts, especially those with eight legs. Sharing collections of Pops and love of the garden. Are these your people?